Have you ever wondered why so many heart attacks strike early in the morning, before breakfast? Without a single warning sign, imagine waking up feeling fine, walking to the bathroom, and within minutes, your life is over. I'm Dr. Johnny, and after more than 40 years as a cardiologist, I can tell you this isn't a rare tragedy. It's a frightening pattern I've seen again and again. The scariest part. Most of these people looked healthy the day before. No chest pain. No alarming test results. Nothing to make them think their heart was about to fail. And yet, one quiet morning turned into their family's worst nightmare. That's because heart damage doesn't just appear overnight. It builds slowly, silently, through the choices we make every single day. And once you're over 60, your margin for error shrinks dramatically. A skipped habit, a late night routine, or even just ignoring the first glass of water in the morning can push your heart past its breaking point. By the time symptoms show, it's often too late. But here's the part I want you to hold on to. Your heart is still listening. Even after decades of wear and tear, it can respond almost immediately to the right daily habits. Not with another prescription, not with a risky surgery, but with small, consistent changes that take just minutes a day. That's what this video is about. I'm going to share with you eight of the most powerful, science-backed habits that I've taught my patients' habits simple enough to begin tomorrow morning, yet strong enough to lower your risk of a heart attack and maybe even save your life. And let me promise you this, by the time we reach number one, you'll discover the single morning habit I wish every senior in America knew before it was too late. The very first thing your heart begs for in the morning isn't coffee, it's water. After seven or eight hours of sleep, your body is quietly dehydrated. Your blood is thicker, your circulation slows, and your heart has to pump harder just to push oxygen through your body. And here's the frightening part. Most heart attacks in seniors strike between 6 and 11 of them, <clears throat> right in that dangerous window when your blood is at its stickiest. I'll never forget one of my patients, a 72-year-old man who walked into my clinic feeling perfectly fine. He exercised, he ate fairly well, but he ignored hydration. One morning, just after brushing his teeth, he collapsed. His heart couldn't handle the strain of pushing dehydrated blood through tight arteries. It was preventable, it was tragic, and it taught me a lesson I never stop repeating. The fix is deceptively simple. Before you check your phone, before you even sip your coffee, drink eight to 12 ounces of room temperature water. Not cold ice water can shock your vessels and cause them to constrict. If you want a natural boost, squeeze in a little lemon to help digestion and balance your body's pH. This one habit takes less than a minute, costs nothing, and yet it gives your heart an immediate advantage, a signal that says, I'm protecting you before the demands of the day even begin. And here's something you'll appreciate. A 2019 study in the European Heart Journal confirmed that seniors who stay properly hydrated have significantly lower rates of morning cardiac events. That's not coincidence, it's biology. When your blood flows more smoothly, your heart doesn't have to fight to keep you alive. But only knowing this isn't enough because drinking water is just the first step and your heart is craving something else to truly come alive in the morning. And that's where the power of movement comes in. If water wakes up your circulation, then walking is what wakes up your entire life. I'm not talking about running marathons or sweating it out in a gym. I mean a simple 20 minute walk in the morning light. It's free, it's easy, and it's one of the most powerful medicines I've ever prescribed without writing on a pad. I remember Margaret, a 74-year-old retired teacher who came to me exhausted. Her blood pressure always borderline, her nights restless. She thought she needed more medication, but what she really needed was a habit. I asked her to walk just around her block each morning, not fast, not far, just steady. Three weeks later, she came back smiling, telling me her sleep was deeper, her mornings calmer, and her blood pressure had finally settled into a healthy range. No new pills, just steps. Here's why it works. Walking activates your cardiovascular system like flipping a switch. It lowers blood pressure, increases circulation, and boosts nitric oxide, 
the natural chemical that relaxes your blood vessels and keeps them flexible. Add in a dose of sunlight and your body begins producing vitamin D, critical for heart muscle strength and immune balance. It's not exercise for vanity, it's fuel for survival. And if you're worried about starting, begin with 10 minutes. Wear comfortable shoes, breathe deeply as you move, and treat it like a morning ritual, not a workout. What matters isn't speed, it's consistency. Because every step you take is like sending your heart a thank you note for carrying you this far. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Your heart doesn't just need movement from your legs. It also needs fuel that comes from the smallest handful you can imagine. And this next habit, sitting right in the palm of your hand, might change the way your arteries age. If walking gets your heart moving, then food is what keeps it beating strong. And some of the most powerful heart protectors don't come in a pill bottle, but in a small, humble handful of nuts or seeds. Just one ounce a day about what you can hold in your palm is enough to deliver a cocktail of nutrients your arteries will thank you for. Take James, one of my patients. He was 69 sharp as ever, but always tired by mid-afternoon. His triglycerides were climbing, and he felt trapped in a cycle of energy crashes. We didn't overhaul his diet overnight. Instead, we made one swap his morning muffin for a handful of raw almonds, with a sprinkle of chia in his yogurt. Six weeks later, his labs looked better. His energy was steady, and he told me he hadn't craved sugary snacks in weeks. That wasn't luck that was science working through food. Here's why it works. Nuts like walnuts and almonds are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which calm inflammation and help prevent dangerous blood clots. Seeds like chia and flax pack fiber that stabilizes blood sugar and supports digestion, and both are full of magnesium and potassium, minerals that keep your heartbeat steady and your arteries relaxed. Research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition shows that seniors who eat a handful of nuts at least five days a week cut their risk of heart disease by up to 39%. That's nearly cutting the odds in half, with nothing more than a snack. The key is to keep it natural raw or dry roasted, unsalted, unsweetened. A handful is enough, more isn't better, because nuts are calorie dense. Think of it as nature's supplement precise, concentrated, and recognized instantly by your body. But your heart doesn't just thrive on nutrients, it also craves something far more overlooked. Something we do every minute of our lives, yet forget to do well. And when you master this next habit, you'll discover a medicine that doesn't come from food at all. It comes from breath. Food feeds your body, but breath fuels your very survival. And yet, most seniors I meet aren't really breathing. They're gasping through shallow, rushed inhales that keep their bodies locked in stress mode. Every time you breathe that way, your cortisol creeps up, your blood vessels tighten, and your heart works harder than it should. It's like driving with the brakes half-pressed, you'll get there eventually, but with far more strain on the engine. Ellen, a 70-year-old retired librarian, told me she couldn't remember the last time she felt calm. Her blood pressure was stubborn her sleep restless, and anxiety had become her daily companion. We didn't add another pill. Instead, I taught her a simple rhythm inhale for four seconds, hold for four, exhale slowly for six. She practiced it every morning before breakfast. Two weeks later, she came back in tears, not of fear, but of relief. Her sleep was deeper, her digestion smoother, and for the first time in years, she said, I finally feel peace. Science backs her experience. Studies in hypertension research show that just five minutes of deep, slow breathing a day can lower blood pressure, balance heart rate, and improve oxygen delivery throughout the body. It activates your parasympathetic nervous system, the body's natural repair mode, and gives your heart a break from constant fight-or-flight stress. No machines, no medication, just your lungs and a little discipline. Here's what I tell every patient, try it tomorrow. Sit comfortably, close your eyes, and follow that 446 rhythm for just five minutes. Think of it as invisible medicine-free, portable, and instantly effective. Your heart will thank you with steadier beats, clearer focus, and a calmer rhythm to start your day. But as powerful as breathing is, it can't heal a heart that never rests. 
Because the truth is, your most overlooked heart treatment doesn't happen when you're awake, it happens while you sleep. And ignoring this next habit may quietly undo everything else you're working for. Breathing can calm your heart in minutes, but nothing restores it like sleep. Sleep is not wasted time, it's your heart's repair shop. Every night, while you rest, your blood pressure naturally dips, your heartbeat slows, and your blood vessels undergo critical maintenance. Inconsistent sleep. However, staying up late one night, napping too long the next throws your heart's rhythm into chaos. Instead of resting, your cardiovascular system runs in overdrive, pumping against rising cortisol and unpredictable hormone shifts. I'll never forget Henry, 73, who came to me complaining of constant fatigue, morning headaches, and stubborn high blood pressure. He was eating right, walking daily, even meditating. But his bedtime was all over the place, midnight some nights, 2 a.m. on weekends, long naps during the day. We made one change lights out by 10.30, no screens after 9. Cool, quiet room, same schedule every day. Within a month, his pressure normalized, his energy returned, and his mornings felt lighter. No new medicine, just rhythm. Science agrees. A large study in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology found that adults over 60 with irregular sleep patterns were nearly twice as likely to develop cardiovascular events compared to those with steady routines. Twice the risk, just from broken rhythms. That's how vital sleep is for your heart. Aim for seven to eight hours of uninterrupted rest. Go to bed and wake up at the same time, even on weekends. Treat your bedroom as a sanctuary. Dim lights, silence, and no late night news keeping your adrenaline high. Remember, your heart doesn't just beat to its own rhythm. It depends on the rhythm of your entire life. But here's the danger, even if you sleep well, you could still be sabotaging your heart by doing something that feels harmless, even restful. It's something most seniors do every single day without realizing it may be slowly damaging their circulation. And that's where our next habit comes in. Even with good sleep, one silent enemy can undo hours of healing sitting too long. It doesn't sound dangerous after all. Sitting feels restful, but when you stay seated for hours, your circulation slows to a crawl. Blood begins to pool in your legs. Your muscles switch off. Your metabolism drops. And inflammation quietly builds. For seniors, that combination is a perfect storm for clots, stiff arteries, and higher blood pressure. Take Carol, 68, who prided herself on her morning walks. She ate well, took her medicine, and thought she was doing everything right. But then she spent entire afternoons on the couch binge-watching shows. Within months, she developed a blood clot in her leg, a condition that could have easily turned fatal. Her mistake wasn't lack of exercise, it was too much stillness. The solution isn't complicated. A simple timer changed Carol's life. Every 30 minutes, she stood up, stretched her arms, and walked for just two minutes around the house. Within weeks, her legs stopped aching, her energy improved, and her resting heart rate dropped. And science backs this research in the Annals of Internal Medicine shows that breaking up sitting time with short bouts of movement lowers cardiovascular risk, even if you already exercise in the morning. So here's my challenge to you. Don't sit longer than 30 minutes without moving. Stand during commercials. Pace while you talk on the phone. Stretch when you feel stiffness in your back. Light. Regular movement might be more powerful for your heart than occasional intense workouts, but movement alone isn't enough because the very first meal you put into your body each morning can either set your heart up for strength or silently sabotage it for the rest of the day. And this next habit is the one I wish more seniors would stop skipping. If sitting too long starves your circulation, then skipping breakfast starves your heart. Breakfast isn't just food, it's the very first message you send to your body each day. Skip it or choose something processed and sugary and your blood sugar spikes, your insulin surges, and inflammation quietly erodes your arteries. Do this for years and it's not just fatigue. You'll feel it's long-term heart damage. One of my patients, Linda, 71, thought she was protecting her waistline by skipping breakfast. But by mid-morning, she was dizzy, 
craving sweets, and her blood pressure was creeping higher each month. We changed just one thing, a heart smart breakfast within an hour of waking, oats topped with blueberries, flax seed, and a few almonds paired with green tea. Within weeks, her energy lifted, her sugar cravings calmed, and her medications began working more effectively. The science is clear. A 2017 study in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology found that people who skip breakfast had an 87% higher risk of cardiovascular death compared to those who ate it consistently. That's not a small difference. It's nearly doubling the danger. Your morning meal doesn't need to be fancy, but it does need to be steady, clean, and nourishing. Whole grains, fruit, nuts, seeds, Greek yogurt, avocado on toast, simple foods that stabilize blood sugar and fuel your heart with fiber, antioxidants, and healthy fats. Think of breakfast as the fuel gauge for your day. When you fill it wisely, your heart doesn't just get energy, it gets protection. But there's one more morning habit even more powerful. One I wish every single patient over 60 would start tomorrow. It takes less time than brushing your teeth, yet it could mean the difference between catching silent danger early or being caught off guard by a life-threatening crisis. Of all the habits I could ask you to adopt, this one may be the simplest and the one that has saved the most lives in my practice. Check your blood pressure before breakfast, before coffee, before anything else. High blood pressure is called the silent killer for a reason. You can feel perfectly fine, no pain, no dizziness, no warning at all while your arteries are under enormous pressure. And often, the very first symptom is the last a stroke, a heart attack, or a sudden fall you never recover from. I think of Daniel, 66, lean, active, confident he didn't need to worry. When I urged him to check his pressure daily, he was stunned to see readings in the 150s over 90s, far too high. That tiny two-minute habit gave us the chance to intervene before tragedy struck. Without it, his first clue might have been his last day. Science backs it up. Data from the American Heart Association shows that people who monitor their blood pressure at home are far more likely to keep it under control and reduce cardiovascular risk. It takes less time than brushing your teeth, yet it gives you priceless knowledge how your heart is coping in real time. All you need is a digital cuff, a quiet chair, and two minutes of your morning. Write down your numbers or log them into an app, and you'll start to see patterns how sleep, stress, salty foods, or hydration affect your pressure. That awareness is power, and power is protection. Because the truth is, your heart isn't asking you for perfection, it's asking you for attention. And these eight habits aren't just tips to check off a list. They are daily choices that can determine how many mornings you get to wake up and share life with the people you love. But there's still one final message I want you to hear. Because knowing these habits is only the beginning. What matters most is how you carry them forward into tomorrow. And that's where the conclusion of this journey may surprise you. Your heart has been working faithfully since the very first day of your life. It has never taken a break. Not even for a second. It deserves your care, your attention, and your kindness. Remember, you don't need to change everything at once. Even the smallest choices, a glass of water in the morning, a short walk, a mindful breath can add years of strength and rhythm to your heart. If today's message gave you even one new idea, don't let it slip away. Save this video so you can come back to it whenever you need a reminder. And make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss the latest medical advice and easy daily habits that protect your heart. And I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts in the comments because your story may inspire someone else to take their first step too. The most important truth is this. It is never too late. Your heart is still listening, still ready to respond still capable of becoming stronger tomorrow than it was yesterday. With small, consistent changes, you can give yourself more mornings, more laughter, and more moments with the people you love. And that truly is a future worth protecting.